Hello and welcome to my multi-MC tutorial. In this video we will be covering on how to install multi-MC, the amazing and in my opinion the best Minecraft launcher there is for Windows. Let's get started. So first off, if you don't know what Multi-MC is, I recommend go ahead and check out my latest video of Multi-MC. It, kind of, it explains briefly what Multi-MC is and why it's amazing and some of the things that you can do with it. After installing, we will be covering in other tutorials on how to setting up the different Minecraft profiles, how to install mod packs, all the settings and everything. But first, we gotta install this bad boy. So let's get right into it. First off, we will go need to go ahead and go into multimc.org. I will also leave a link for that. I will leave a link for everything you need down below in the description. But in here, we just want to go to download and install. And as you can see, it's for Windows, Mac and Linux. I will be covering Linux and Windows today. Go ahead and press download. And we're just going to save the, save the file and download just like that. If you want, you can also, you can also install, download and install the development version. But I, I recommend going with the with the normal version because that's going to be stable. After we've done that, navigate to your downloads folder right here, MMC stable. Right in here, we're going to open it. It is a zip file. I have seven zip installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here. You can all you just need to press extract all. I, I'm using seven zip. So we're going to go extract files into downloads. Uh, multi MC tutorial. That's just a folder. It's going to put the stuff that is in the zip file into. So here it is made the folder. And here we are, multi MC. And here it is. You've pretty much installed it. Now what you gotta do is you're just gonna have to copy this into a place that you like. In my case, I'm going to copy it. I'm gonna go into this PC, local disk, and I'm just gonna put it here uh, together with all these other folders. You can see this is my original. This is for the tutorial purposes. I'm gonna copy it onto here. And we're gonna let that run, and we're gonna be back when it's done. You can just leave it into honestly into the. You can just leave it in the downloads folder or whatever you choose to put it. But I'm just gonna put it here because, well, I want it here. So here it is, and this is then the shortcut. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the .multimc.exe here. I'm gonna hold down Alt, and I'm gonna drag it over here, which is going to link this this shortcut to this executable. And now we can launch it and we can start setting it up. But before we actually do that, we need to do something. We need to head in back into the browser here and we need to go to java.com, this. And then we gotta download Java. Agree and start free download. Obviously, I have an ad blocker. If you don't, don't click on any ads. Stay on these clear red buttons from Java. Go ahead and save the file into the downloads and then you would just want to open it and then yes, Oh dear, that, there we go. <laughs> we can close the browser now, and then we would just go ahead and install. I already have mine installed, but then you would go ahead and install and let it do its work. Now that we've done that, we can go back to the Multi-MC installer. I'm gonna choose the American English, and we're gonna uh, press next. If it does not show up here, which it should, I don't know why it doesn't. All right, so if your, if your Java does not show up here, just go into browse, and it should be in here into local disk, program files, Java, and then you just gotta find the executable, java.exe. We're gonna open that and we can see the green check mark here. That means it's good. Uh, I would leave this depending on the RAM, amount of RAM. Blah, blah, blah. What I usually set my Minecraft to, I usually set it to max uh, eight, eight gigabytes, so this, is in megabytes, so we would need to uh, click it a few times, get it all the way up. All right, there we go. So my maximum memory is now set to this. If you have less, if you only have eight gigabytes, don't put it to maximum memory at the max of RAM you have. At least put it to half, I would say, and maybe even further down if you're not playing some massive mod pack or something like that. Once you've done this, you can click next and finish. And the basic setup and installation is now done. Now I'm going to cover the rest of what is inside MultiMC after we've installed it in the next tutorial. Be sure to watch the next video as we will be setting it up for the first time in the settings and after that we will be 
adding our first instances or profiles and we will also later on be installing mod packs. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And yeah, have a good day. Hope to see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>